I remember when I was in Islamic school, my teacher, he told me, he said, listen, whatever you do in life, pray. My mom, my dad, they would tell me, listen, whatever you do in life, pray. And there was this one ayah, so for some odd reason I remembered it, right? It came to me. That the salah prevents fahsha and munkar and all these bad things. If you pray, the salah will stop all of that. I really wanted to change. So I said, you know what? Let me put this ayah to the test. And so that night, uh, I lived with my cousin. I told him, I said, I said hey, listen, we're going to stay up. We're not going to go to sleep. The reason being is because we're going we're gonna to pray fajr. We prayed fajr. We went to sleep. We woke up for dhuhr. We prayed dhuhr. Asr time came. We prayed asr. Maghrib would come. We go to Maghrib. The homies would want to go somewhere else. I can't because I got to go pray at the masjid. So I would tell them the first day, hey, listen, uh, I have to be around the masjid. Can you wait for me till I pray Isha? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Isha, when did you start praying? Let me pray and then we'll go do what we got to do. So the first day they waited, but the second, third day, they wouldn't wait. My friends, I wasn't leaving them. They slowly left me because I had to be around the masjid. I kind of started hating the life that I lived and they lived which was music and everything. And so we kind of just kind of left.